Hey there guys, this is Somogno and you are watching Bing Engineers. Now in the previous tutorial we discussed about variables, strings and some of its operations and in this one you know from the title that we will be talking about the conditional loops in Python. So let's begin. The first one is if loop where you run an if statement if a certain condition holds true else they are not executed. Now remember that Python uses indentation that is these blank spaces in order to delimit the block of code. Now this is equivalent of using the curly braces in the C language. But remember indentation in Python is a must. Now if a certain condition doesn't hold true and you want to move to the next condition then you can write elif which is the short form of else if and the statement corresponding to elif is executed. But when all the condition fails, the final condition runs in the else loop. You can also perform nested loop, that is, if within if statement. Next comes the for loop. For loop is commonly used to repeat some code a certain number of times which can be done by combining with range object. For example, x equal to bing for x in range length of x minus 1 print youtuber where len gives you the length of the string which is 5. So you have encountered another inbuilt function and as a result youtuber is printed 4 times. I will discuss range in my next video. You can also write if statement in for loop. Finally, while loop. The statement inside it are repeatedly executed as long as the condition holds. Once it evaluates to false, then the next section of code is executed. So while the number is less than 5, the statement will keep on running finally ending with finished. You can achieve infinite loop where the loop never stops running that is the condition remains true forever. Uh oh. So if you want to stop this just press ctrl c or close the tab. Also if you want to break out from a loop at any point then use break which ends the loop prematurely and immediately goes to the next section of code. Unlike break continue helps you to jump to the top of loop rather than stopping it. So first i will be 1 and printed. After that since i becomes 2 the condition will become true. Again we will be heading back to i equal to i plus 1 after printing skipping 2. Finally when i becomes 5 the loop breaks and finished. So that's it for tutorial 4 and i hope you guys have enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe guys if you are new and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss a single video from us. Follow us in the social media, the links are given in the description box below and I will catch you guys in the next week.